Another big day for us as we find our footing in this training camp setting. A couple of things, we, we rotated a few veteran players out today. Um, we'll be doing that some throughout this camp and we'll spread it out among the veteran group. It's not only about the preservation of the veteran player, it's probably more importantly about the accelerated maturation of the younger guys. Um, when you give Ebron a day off, you get to see more of some of the young guys at the tight end position, for example. When you give Bill and the Waver a day off, you get a chance to see more of the young tackles um, play their position. So uh, we'll continue to do that. Um, it, it's dual purpose. It's good for all parties involved, and, and it aids the evaluation process for us. Um, had a couple of injuries today. Um, both guys are being evaluated. Don't know the extent of it. Kevin Dotson uh, had a knee injury that's being evaluated. Uh, he was able to walk off, but he is being evaluated. And Dax Raymond looked like he rolled his ankle there at the end of a competition period. He's being evaluated as well. Hopefully we'll get those guys back to us sooner rather than later. But we acknowledge that, you know, bumps and bruises, unfortunately, are part of this process. we got to work our tails off and try to be as professional as we can in the effort to minimize uh, as much as that as we can. I'll open it up for questions. All right. Before we get started with questions, just a reminder, raise your hand on the uh... – on the Zoom call, if you would like to potentially have a question. Uh, first one, Mark Caboli. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Mike. Um, Terrell Edmonds made some nice plays yesterday in the passing game, followed it up today with a couple in the run game. How important is it? To... Uh -oh. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mark, we can hear you now. Go ahead, Mark. Okay. Um, <laughs> Mark, said, what's up? How you doing, Mike? Um, Good. Pro Edmonds made a couple of nice plays in the passing game yesterday, a couple of nice plays in the run game uh, today. Um, how important is it for him to get off to a good start and be able to uh, make some more plays that he has in the past couple of seasons? You know, it's a collective effort for us on the back end. Uh, much like offensive line play, uh, it is a collection uh, of the individuals. And so he's a significant component of that. We got to keep a lid on it collectively. And um, that unit has to operate as just that, a unit. Uh, it's good that he's making some plays, but from a unit standpoint, uh, we're challenging the secondary collectively. Next up, Brooke Pryor. Brooke, go ahead. Hey, Mike, we saw uh, you give Ola some high praise during uh, one of those drills. Looked like he was really um, – getting after it, had good energy. It looks like he's being a leader too. What have you seen out of his progression? Again, I know it's early in camp, but just early returns on, on his improvement. You know, he showed up in great condition and ready to work. And that's always the first uh, thing that you notice. Uh, he'll continue to write the story of his overall readiness through his performance, but so far so good. Okay. Next up, Jerry Dulac. Jerry, go ahead. Mike, hi. Um, how, um, what do, what do you see or think when you see a guy like Ben, a vet, uh, help a rookie like Dotson off the field such as he did? You know, he's what? just a, he's a teammate, man. He's been there, you know. Um, you know, he, he's been down on the field before. He knows the, the fear associated with that. Dotson's a young guy trying to make this football team. And, you know, oftentimes the fear of the injury is worse than the injury itself. And he just – he just – is just doing what considerate, thoughtful leaders do uh, in terms of, you know, helping him uh, work through that. Obviously, the medical experts handle the injury itself, but a guy in his position can relate to some of the things that maybe emotionally Dotson's feeling when, when, when faced with what he was faced with today. Okay, next up is Dajon from DK Pittsburgh Sports. Dajon, go ahead. Mike, when you see players, you talk about players maturing into their second and third years, uh, and taking that next step. When you look at Ulysses Gilbert and the kind of the practice that he had today and some of the plays that he was able to make, where do you see his maturation right now? You know, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily characterize him as a second-year player because he missed so much time in year one. Hopefully because he's been a part of the program and been in the building, there's some, you know, residual benefits from it. But in terms of play or exposure to play, um, he has ex experienced as nearly as much as some of the others in his class because of injury. Okay, next up, Will Graves from the Associated Press. Will, go ahead. Mike, one of the veterans you did not rotate out today was Ben. He was out there throwing again. I mean, was that by design, or is there, are you guys doing it sort of a play it by ear thing? Just as um, we, we have a schedule for all of those guys, and, you know, we adhere to the schedule. 
Next up, Jarrett Bell, USA Today. Jarrett, go ahead. Uh, just to follow up on that, Mike, um, what are your early impressions of of Ben physically and, and how he's come back? And, and can you give us a little more elaboration on what your approach is with him and his approach coming off the injury? I'll start with the second part of that question first. Um, I, I have very little reservations about the approach. He's been given full clearance from the medical experts, so I don't look at him and and distribute reps based on the fact that he's coming off an injury. Really, we're taking the same rhythm in terms of preservation of his arm that we always have in a training camp like setting in terms of the amount of work that he's done. Um, my impressions are what they were. I think the last time I spoke to you guys last week, um, it just hadn't been a lot of work as of yet for me to, you know, to have a significant impression. I like his velocity. Um, I acknowledge that I have seen his spiral tighter but I also acknowledge that it's August and we got roughly a month before we step into a stadium. So, so we'll all keep working. Next up, Aditi from NFL Network. Aditi, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Juju himself and several other guys have talked about Juju suddenly being the veteran in that room, being a leader. But when you look at Chase Claypool, James Washington, Deontay Johnson, can they push him? Are they pushing him? What's the nature in that room right now? You know, it's a bunch of young guys in that room. Some of those guys are so worried about, you know, re their responsibilities from an assignment standpoint and making sure that they're on the details that that's not a relevant discussion for them. Claypool is just trying to figure out how we function here and his place in it. Some of those other guys who have been here and had roles, obviously, um, is moving up or moving out. And I'm sure they got a desire to expand their capabilities in terms of helping us win football games. And, and so I expect those guys to do that. Last one, Joe Rudder from the Trib. Joe, go ahead. Hi, Mike. Uh, how has uh, Stephon Tewitt looked from a health standpoint, and is he being managed any differently this camp than in, in any other year? He is not. Again, he's a guy that's been given full medical clearance, so I have little to no reservations about management of reps from him from that perspective. Uh, he's just getting his, his legs back on, on the ground, if you will, um, being out of football as long as he's been. I'm sure he's excited about being out there. He and I did have that discussion yesterday. In terms of some of the detailed execution of some of the fine motor skills associated with play, that'll be a work in progress. Okay, thank you, Coach. Also for the meeting, we will be bringing Ulysses Gilbert in here shortly, so hang tight.